Hello everyone, welcome back to Airlines Quest. Today we're covering some exciting developments in airline sustainability, alliance partnerships, and even a glimpse into the future of space travel. Let's dive right in. British Airways is making waves in the fight against climate change. The airline has just inked a deal worth over £9 million for carbon removal credits. Remember, carbon removal is all about taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and storing it safely for decades, maybe even centuries. They've teamed up with QR8, a UK company specializing in high-quality carbon removal credits. Over the next six years, British Airways will purchase 33,000 tons of these credits. You've got to remember, though, while carbon removals are crucial for addressing climate change, the sector still needs to scale up quickly. So, what's in British Airways' carbon removal portfolio? It's quite diverse. Storing carbon in trees and soils, capturing CO2 directly from the air, some pretty innovative projects in the UK, like capturing emissions from whiskey distilleries and turning them into building materials, enhanced rock weathering techniques, projects in Canada focusing on carbon removal from rivers and oceans, and a biochar project in India that's empowering female farmers. Carrie Harris, British Airways Director of Sustainability, puts it best. There is no pathway to net zero for aviation without carbon removals. This investment makes British Airways the largest carbon removals purchaser in the UK and the largest airline buyer globally. Moving on to some alliance news, SAS, the flag carrier for Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, is deepening its partnership within the SkyTeam Alliance. They've just signed a codeshare agreement with Delta Airlines, set to kick off on September 25, 2024. What does this mean for travelers? SAS customers will now have better access to over 150 North American destinations via Delta's main hubs. On the flip side, Delta passengers will be able to reach 50 destinations in Northern Europe through SAS's hubs in Copenhagen, Oslo, and Stockholm. But there's more. Passengers can now earn and redeem frequent flyer miles on both airlines. This comes hot on the heels of SAS exiting bankruptcy protection in August 2024, backed by investment from the Air France KLM Group. SAS is also launching a new direct route from Copenhagen to Seattle, strengthening connections to the Pacific Northwest. It's an exciting time for the airline as it cements its position within the SkyTeam Alliance. Now, let's shift gears and look to the stars. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, has announced some bold plans for Mars missions. Here's the breakdown. SpaceX aims to launch about five uncrewed starships to Mars in two years. If these missions land successfully, we could see crewed missions in just four years, and any challenges could push the timeline back by another two years. Musk emphasizes that Earth-Mars alignment only allows for launches every two years, which he sees as a safeguard against catastrophic events on Earth. The plan is to increase the number of spaceships exponentially with each launch window, potentially leading to thousands of starships heading to Mars. The Starship spacecraft, touted as the world's most powerful launch vehicle, is central to these plans. It's designed to carry both crew and cargo, not just to Mars, but also to Earth orbit and the Moon. NASA is even planning to use it for their Artemis III mission to land astronauts on the Moon, now scheduled for no earlier than September 2026. SpaceX has already launched Starship four times in 2023 and 2024, with two complete successes and two failures. It's a testament to the rapid progress and learning in space technology. What are your thoughts on these developments? Are you excited about the potential for carbon removal in aviation? Or perhaps you're dreaming of a trip to Mars? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.